Greetings, Souls Wind here, and welcome to Let's Play Cooking Simulator. We're in the Food Network DLC mode trying a 5 star challenge for a Food Network dish, and the dish is Fiesta Corn with Tomatoes. I'm gonna change things up just a little bit, and also I've seen a comment with a very useful tip, so I'm gonna share about it. Um, but before that, let me just uh, quickly take a look at this. Um, add to a bowl lime juice, lime juice, olive oil, and avocado oil. So let me get them first while I talk about the tip. Avocado oil, lime juice, and something. Well, anyways, um, the tip was left by a user called White Rhino PSO, and um, the tip was to actually like, uh. Click on a certain area of the timer when the timer rings in order to stop the timer instead of picking the timer up and placing it down. So let's uh, give it a quick try. I know it works. So um, where should we click it? Hmm, interesting. Well, all I've been doing was to pick this up like that and put it down, right? However, we can do it differently. Let's wait for this to ring. Click here. This one. Click on the clock face. It's a much bigger target, so given my bad mouse skills, I really think that that's a much better target compared to the timer, which is smaller. At the same time, um, what you can do is also start the timer. If you don't want the timer, just click. It stays at 10, but then it's paused. So thank you, White Rhino PSO. Thank you for the tip. It's really, really useful and very helpful. Now all I need to do is to ensure that I can get used to it. Because, you know, I've been so used to just like instinctively picking it up. So it will require some effort to get used to the new way of stopping the timer but definitely useful thank you thank you garlic dry i know the stars are a little distracting but we'll ignore them corn onto a plate so we need a corn on a plate Really? Hmm. Tomato. Onion. Red bell pepper. Jalapeno. And then drizzle in the mixture, which is uh, this one. Add to a pot 1000 ml and then salt and corn. Ooh, interesting. Uh, okay, lime juice 20, olive 10, and then um, avocado 10. Lime 20, olive avocado 10. Oops. 26, 26. Okay, now that will be 20. And we need another bowl. And we need another bowl. 10, 10 each. Oh! Sure. Sure. Why not? Sure. Well, I mean, I should have poured it in there. Anyway, you see it's 11, don't worry. If you pour this, that's 10. Uh, avocado. Oh my god, how's that? 11 now? I thought that's 10. 
That's weird. Okay. Anyways, we can come here and activate everything. Because why not? We'd have most of them in career mode except for running, which we don't need anyways. Oops. We even have the magic wand. You know what? We'll just throw it away. So sometimes when I start a new game afresh for my recording, I'll have all these things restored to their original position. So that's where we'll have to throw them away again. Garlic chili 5-5, five, five. salt black pepper 10-10. Ten, ten. 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 And then we need to drizzle these with that mixture, right? Yeah, we gotta drizzle that. So let's do that. I wonder what's gonna happen though. We have more? Oh, no? All gone. Really? Let's drizzle again. Did anything really go out though? Okay, so this is like one, less than one, less than one for the rest. Uh, eight, four, 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 two, two. This looks like all there is to it. Three, one, uh, three, three. One, 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 and then that one is five. Pretty much, I think that's all distributed properly. And for that is, uh... You see, it's still 21, I think. Like, just now it was 21, right? Now it's 15, and these proportions have not changed. So you can tell that's it, all right? Except for the avocado oil on the onion, I think that's still fine. Based on the weight and the size of the food. Okay, now we need a big pot. With a thousand ml of oil. Oh, I think because we used the stove, it gave us some more. Is it distracting? Should we just pick up some of them? Like it's right in front of us. Let's just pick them up, okay? Uh, no, not this one. Salt. How many? Okay, it's there. Pick it up because it's right in front. Ten, and then corn, and then. 100 seconds, and then we have to cut. 10, and then corn, 100 seconds, and then we have to cut the rest, right? Cut tomato, onion, bell pepper, uh, jalapeno, right? <laughs> I don't know. Put that there. Okay, so I think the best way to do it is to cut first. And also, what a good time to change up the thing and make sure that we don't, like, you know, be too careful with the cut because this is all with mixtures and whatnot and we cannot just do it again because it's split up amongst multiple food. Although I do believe that no matter what, a certain piece of food will always get that same amount of uh oh no wait i don't know the size of this cut yikes how many are there oh no i don't know the size of the cut i didn't notice it 
I don't know. Cut it into four first. Yes, 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 indeed. It's quarter. Good. Phew. Phew. Wow. Okay, okay, okay. Wow, I actually went ahead. Fine, fine. Click that, click that, okay? I actually went ahead to cut without even checking the cuts because I was so busy explaining. Throw it down there, please. Oh my goodness. Okay, fine. Go there. Thank you. Next, onion 20 gram pieces. That will be 6 pieces. Is it still rotating though? Okay, not, not a good angle to cut that. I think this might be a better angle. Use the front of the knife, not the back. Okay, let's see. 17, 17, 18, 24, 18, 26. So pretty much okay. This is 27, 27, 33, 33. Next would be uh, red bell pepper, 30 grams. Wow. So eight cuts in total, right? 30 grams, eight cuts, right? 240, right? So, I think it is this, 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 and then this. So, plus cut and X cut. Oh my god, not good at all. Look at the 8 gram. Seriously, look at the 8 gram. How many pieces do we have? Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. 13 pieces instead of 8. Well, we'll see how tolerant the customers are. Let's just pick these up. Uh, jalapeno, 10 grams. Or jalapeno. I, I don't know. Is it jalapeno? I don't know. Like, is it J? Anyways, uh, who cares? Okay, not too bad. Honestly, not too bad. And it has to be eight. I mean, it has to be four. Four pieces because it's a plus cut. It can't be complicated. Now boil for a hundred seconds. This one. We'd have taken more than a hundred seconds anyway. So yeah, I'll meet you back here when this is boiled. Okay, click that. Wow. Thank you. Thank you for the suggestion, White Rhino. Thank you so much. Really appreciate that. Okay. So we need to cut this into 20 gram pieces. Serve cool. Huh? Serve cool. Interesting. So. Hmm. Boil for 100 seconds. Oh, I need to serve cool, huh? So not serve hot, but serve cool. Well, anyways, um, we need 9 pieces because 20 grams, so... Uh, eight, uh, no, 8 cuts for 9 pieces, right? So it'd be like... Uh, slightly off-center. Just slightly off-center. Which is on the W. And then 1, 2... Three, four, so from the middle of the W, go to the split between the W and the T. One, two, three, 
and 4. I think so. Yeah, should be fine. Except for the last one. Oh, that's fine too. So, um, this is the weight. Like that. Okay, it said surf cool. So, um, if you put your mouse over the food, you'll see a little thermometer beside the weight that says it's still red. We need to wait for it to become blue. I'll meet you back here when that thing turns blue. Okay, it's been several minutes and reasonably speaking, we shouldn't need to wait this long. It's still very hot. You can see that the temperature is still red. Okay, look at the thermometer. Still red. Alright. So, we're going to just pick them up. Okay, look at these. Alright, these are the weights once again. With the red bell pepper being wrong. Look at these, all still red. Alright, so let's pick them up. I think reasonably speaking, we shouldn't need to wait that long. So probably serve cool except for the corn. Let's see if we've missed anything. No, so that's good. Let's just serve it. Take a picture. Then serve. Hey! Serve cool, huh? It's five stars. I don't see any chip around here. With a uh, bad cutting technique for the... Oh, okay, okay. Fiesta corn with tomatoes, fine. I mean, it's actually red bell pepper. Not the tomato. That's okay. I mean, this is good enough. So, red bell pepper. Instead of 8 cuts, we get like 13. What are we supposed to do? I mean, maybe just a vertical slice and then a few horizontal slices. Because then that might have been better. I guess, because of the way the game divides the cuts. If we do a plus and an X cut. Regardless, it is still 5 stars. And yeah, what's it with serve cool? That's misleading. So serve cool except for the corn, huh? Well, no other bad cutting technique. And we did get our 5 stars. I'm not going to complain too much. Thank you once again, White Rhino, for the tip. It is very, very useful. So thank you very much. Well, anyway, Fiesta Corn with Tomatoes, 5 stars. That's it for this episode. I'll see you next episode. That's all I have for now. Have a nice day.